I don't have any effects running right now. I'm just going to go ahead and play. There's G, E. train you try playing with freaking electrical tape on your fingers not easy but see how this freaking thing sounds like the first album doesn't it that's a very close sound even using the you know because I got the PV 61 505 and this Marshall I'm still using the Marshall code 50 and I'm using all Eddie Van Halen uh, effects the phaser and uh, when I got the DC electronics. So let's put in a couple other things. I'll play for a little bit, and then I'm gonna close it because I know you guys don't like round videos. But thanks for watching I, the one I did with the Concord when I got back from them. Uh, Friday or Saturday, I can't remember what day it was. It was such a crazy day. I posted it last night because I just did not have time. So I'm gonna play a little bit with electrical tape on two fingers you know holding this nail on literally uh, just so you get a little idea of uh, what it's sounding like and both pickups this is a uh, potted uh, super distortion it's not a, a super 70 I had it in there and I took it out because the super distortion sounds better and this is a black super distortion so just Thank <laughs> you. 
Didn't know I turned that on. <laughs> this is not easy. That's the shark, the one that's coming out, looks like crap, I wouldn't buy it, but you do what you want to do. Uh, the guy that made this doesn't make him anymore, he's kind of another furniture maker, uh, So, and he's on the east coast, and I, I, he made one, and I'm like, dude, that is a great job, can you make me one? And he did. You know how much this cost me? 600 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't making any money off of it and his wife found out and she got furious literally 600 bucks he bought everything so you know to gripe about that and I've got the right bridge to put on the right everything but why it sounds perfect and mine's completely hooked up and it has and I keep this on because everything's hooked up I'm not screwing with perfection. This is the best sounding shark in the world. I guarantee it. I'll have my friend come down and play it. <laughs> that someone that doesn't have tape and that can actually play. This thing sounds like the first album. I was crapping my pants when I fir first took off the turnbuckles and had my guy 
set it up and then he brought it back and I played it. I'm like, what the hell? This thing is beautiful. I'd play it all the time if it wasn't a Van Halen thing. Because I'm getting hooked on the Wolfgang very easy. That is such a convenient guitar. It's got everything and it's small and convenient. Blah, blah, blah. But I know you guys want to see a variety. So I'm telling you the story why I went to NAM was to check out the shark. I've got pictures on this stupid thing. I can only find a couple. Because I'm like, wait a minute. They can't be. But they did. And it doesn't look like this. Not even close. Mine is better. But if you want, buy it. Personally, I'd just go find a, a, an Epiphone with Karina Wood. There's a Koa. You know, the one that Epiphone put out. Have someone build it for you, dude. And don't put those turnbuckles in. Because theirs still doesn't sound right. They're doing something to dampen the sound of the metal. Because they've got to. So there's probably uh, rubber, like a rubber grommet, I think. Because I heard them talking, like, you know, he's the little rubber grommet in there. That would take care of the rubber. Because they put the turnbuckles in, and they took them out, and then they took them in, they loosened them, they tightened them, and then they gave it back to me. And for their troubles, they put that on and said, that is a very good guitar. You're lucky you have it. I'm like, thank you. That was in 2017. They said they weren't even thinking about doing this. Well, I guess they were thinking about it. Right? Right. But they're still cool, guys, because they give me stuff. I get a lot of free stuff from Jackson, Charvel, and, and, and EVH. And I'm not even sponsored by Jackson anymore. And I still get deals. So I can't say anything bad about that company. Or those companies. All under the umbrella of Fender, which is amazing to me, because they suck! Even though my first great neck on the Stars of Fender is 78 Strat. All right. Keep rocking metal, dude. That's it. <laughs>